Weather report for the 2nd of December? That's bright sunshine. Good morning lovely peeps, Merry Vlogmas Day 2. I'm just heading down to the main house so mum and dad and I can open our calendars. Expect to see me doing this in my dressing gown a lot. I work on a slightly different schedule to mum and dad. I don't start my working day till midday and then I tend to work through till about midnight. Obviously mum and dad get up a lot earlier than that and start doing their day a lot earlier than that. So it's currently 10.30ish. I'm going to head down so we can have our chocolate for breakfast and then I can get on with my evening and get bits and pieces done up here before I head down to work at midday. So one, two, three, Merry Vlogmas again, really? <laughs> I rewatched some of last year's actually just to see what I did with like um, the music and the introductions and stuff like this and basically it's exactly the same. <laughs> it's, uh, do you want to do something different? Has Christmas started? No, not until after your birthday, we know, but... Yeah. Merry Vlogmas. <laughs> Merry Vlogmas day two. I'm not going to even attempt this. Merry so, Vlogmas. Okay. And then yes. he'll... Yeah. Um, so your number two is there. Hey, peeps. <laughs> number two is there. Yes, I found it. It's got a pussycat on it. Oh. I think yours is an orange one today by the looks of things. Mm -hmm. It has like a key on the back of what they all are. I was very good yesterday. We had a dinner party and uh, my friend said that her husband would make the sweet, which he did, and it was a chocolate tart and it looked fantastic. It did. And then I had my slice, very, very tiny because we'd eaten far too much. Mm. And it had coconut in it! Bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> I was worried we weren't going to get any of those this year because there's no coconut in this one, but... I, I, I just no. put more cream on it. I it ate was wonderful. It all. I ate it all. I oh, was very no. good. And I didn't say... Bleh. Don't just wait till the morning. Oh, no. It was so funny. I was so looking forward to it. It looked lovely. It did. You'll like it. We've got a bit left. I made them take half home. Oh. <laughs> I said it was bad for us. <laughs> Very polite, I was. <laughs> this looks good. Hmm. Orange. <coughs> so it's different from yesterday. Mm. <laughs> no. Very nice. <laughs> if I do that, you did what? The same side or the other? Yeah, so if I do that. No, I thought you meant. No. <laughs> no, no, no. I had a slight itch under my nose. <laughs> Oh, oh, dear. Mm. Yes. Yeah, see if you can get into it today. No. Well, technique. Ooh. I'm learning a technique. Oh, okay. Is it the same as yesterday? I've got a suspicion oh. that. I think it is. Well, at least you enjoyed it. <coughs> Mine's nice. I know, but. You want some What can I say? Tea? Before I even try it, then. It's sumptuous, delicious, <laughs> gorgeous. Well, I'm, I'm glad he likes it. I can them now. go and carry on now, can't I? Yes, you can. And eat my chocolate you can, at the same indeed. time. Because it takes a while to eat this one. Yes. Mm. Mine's Thank gone. <laughs> and today I have. I found it earlier. Where's number two gone? Oh dear. Oh dear. There it is. <laughs> so I have. A twirl! My second favourite. This, this is working out quite well. Just wait till she gets a bounty bar. Yeah. There isn't a bounty in there. Oh, that's lucky. I could have got you one of these actually. You eat most of it, except that it's milk chocolate and you prefer dark chocolate, which is why you got the one that you did. I'm very happy with the one I've got, thank you. <laughs> very happy. The leather for Wilson's sleeves have arrived. This is printed or got an, a design on it. It's called Impressed. Inkuga. And I got this from Pittard, so I'll list this down below. And these are the double A size, which are huge. So I should be able to get a sleeve out of each skin because I have two. And the back's really nice as well. It feels suede -y. It's, yeah, really nice. And then Elizabeth, my KB Pattern Swap pattern parcel has arrived. So you emailed me this morning asking you, um, to let you know when it does. 
and it has. That's actually a very good point as well. Majority of you have let me know that you have sent your parcels and that some of you have received them already. Some of you have even opened them. You're not supposed to open them to Christmas day. But there are a few of you that haven't. So I'm gonna send an email out this evening to those that haven't let me know that they've posted them or received them just to give you a little prod to sort of like let me know that it's been done. Cause I'm sure it has been. It's just one of those things that slipped your mind. So just a gentle reminder. My first Christmas present. As I say, we haven't got the tree up yet. We don't put that up until after dad's birthday. So I shall put this somewhere safe, but I am excited. Thank you, Elizabeth. Page one of the two page cutting guide and pile of pattern pieces and piece labels. And Susie has left it up to me to pick her fabrics. So I've gone with this combination and then this combination, which is what I used for my Celine bag. And I think it's really nice. I think it's gonna look really cool. So I'm gonna try and get both of those cut out today and all of their interfacing as well. Wish me luck. Okay, first one is cut out and labeled. Now to cut out the second one. I've done the Decoville and the 809 interfacing. So there's only a little bit of interfacing to cut out for this one. And then obviously the pattern pieces. Wish me luck. Two penny ends all completely cut out. So I'm gonna start construction on those tomorrow because it is, what is the time? Five o'clock, it is five o'clock. I'm watching Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. Could actually talk to you, couldn't I? I've watched uh, Justice League and yes, I'm halfway through Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. I love this film. So yeah, I'm going to take all of that through to the sewing room, tidy up in here. And then I've got some bits and pieces that I need to do up at mine this evening. So sewing tomorrow. I am back up at mine. I've just been out and bought some food. I've had dinner. It is seven o'clock. So I actually have, oh, that was an attractive face, wasn't it? Wilson's sleeve and my seam ripper up here. So I am going to sit here this evening. Oh, battery's dying, two secs. Here we go, that's better. Uh, yes, I'm going to sit here this evening and pick this apart because as you saw earlier this morning, the leather for the sleeves has arrived. I haven't got any black lining for it and I'm kind of thinking I want to use a funky lining for the sleeves because it obviously needs to be slippery and I yeah it's a sleeve so nobody but him is really gonna see it because I, I he's not a print kind of guy I think the only prints that he wears I think as you've seen are plaids so he's not a print sort of person at all I mm, I don't know I kind of I just I want to put a little bit of me into it which means sort of loud and crazy prints and yeah I have this one that I used well I either I think I have enough of the red roses that I use for my red coat left over or I have peacock feathers otherwise I think I mean I've got quite a few slippery linings I've got one that's leaves but there's white the red roses and the peacock feathers are darker yeah I don't know I don't know maybe I should just maybe I should just put black in so that he feels comfortable although it's the sleeves nobody's gonna see it but him when he puts it on I don't know we'll see but anyway that's that's my plan for this evening I'm going to unpick that but before I do that I wanted to get the rest of the vlog edited so I thought I'd go through some of the comments from Saturday's vlog that I uploaded on Sunday because that was the one where I misspelt my name <laughs> and some of you guys have commented about the funny things that you have done and it made me feel so much better so I thought I ought to share that with everybody oh and I also asked if you guys would prefer a blog post or a video and it looks like you would majority of you would like a sew along for the book bag and then like a kind of follow-up blog post with the dimensions and things on it and that kind of makes sense to me so yeah I think I'll I think I'll probably end up doing both but we'll see it might it, I, hopefully it turns out okay I think it will it should be fun anyway Christina says sew alongs are always a good thing thank you <laughs> Jennifer says the bag is gorgeous so pretty yes I've spelled my name with two n's before which we all know is wrong yes Jennifer with just the one n Nancy says heart comment yay vlogmas comment heart <laughs> oh that's a very good point Norma very kindly sent me the video from the thing that she had seen and it's a guy called Markiplier which he's he's got a huge audience like millions and millions of subscribers and he'd done kind of like a choose your own adventure type of video where you had to use emojis in the comments to kind of guide the story along and whichever emoji got the most that would be the path that the story took obviously millions of subscribers and lots of them are using the same emoji in the comments multiple times to to 
you know get the story to go the way that they wanted it and Google saw that as uh, them spamming the comments with emojis and they were blocking their accounts I'll link to the article that or the the video that Norma sent me so you can have a look at it in the description bar down below from my understanding from that what you guys are doing and what I'm asking you guys to do is not spam you're not using the same emoji five times in the comments on one video I'm not asking you to multiple comments I am just saying you know like if you don't have anything to actually f say an emoji is a nice way of interacting with the video so I don't think what we're doing is spam and I don't think what we're doing is going to be detrimental to your accounts or mine but like I said I'm going to put the the link that Norma sent me into the description down below so you guys can have a look and see what's going on yourselves but yes that was why Nancy said comment which is that she got like her little heart that she usually her little heart that she use, usually uses and comment yay vlogmas comment <laughs> Rose Doherty says I'm a big fan of Miss Fisher 2 I went to an exhibition of the costumes a few years ago it was amazing wow if, uh, if, I mean it's an Australian TV show isn't it so I mean if that ever comes to the UK then I would totally go and see that Lauren says oops <laughs> yes Definitely. Sue McAvoy says, it's emoji gate, koala bear, love all the waffle heart. <laughs> Quilty Gal says, bag uh, vlogmas QQ with with all the heart eye emojis. Der moments, too many sewing ones to mention, but I did sign my maiden name on a credit card. The girl said, oh, haven't you been married long? And I said, no, only 26 years. I also called Ben Tom once. Stupid thing was, I didn't even know anyone called Tom. Book the nursing home bed. <laughs> oh, Claire, that's so funny. Natida says, Haha, I'm glad I'm not the only one. If I say it's not too much work for you, write the blog for the bag to drive traffic to your business and link the video tutorial. Personally, I'm a visual learner, so I prefer videos, but I can appreciate a blog post every now and again. I have found them helpful. I bought the Pocket B supplement when it came out, thanks to you talking about Pocket A. I can't believe I'm going to do Vlogmas this year. Looking forward to watching as many as I can this year awesome it, natida's channel is so natural dane and if you don't already follow her you definitely should i will link her in the description bar down below uh, i haven't made pocket b supplement yet obviously so have you made it natida let me know more emojis megan says you so need to watch frankie's detective service it's a very cool show love the outfits i shall check that out thank you uh, flo says i'm glad you got a giggle youtube needs an edit button flo is the one that called me a sexist yesterday instead of a sewist did make me giggle. <laughs> Louise says, awesome video as always. I had a dirt moment when my making my husband's dressing gown. I put the sleeves on the wrong way around, so the seam on the out the seam was on the outside. It was toweling and I didn't want to try and unpick. I just added satin ribbon down the seam of both sleeves to hide the mistake. Perfect. <laughs> Reggie says, don't feel too horrible. I didn't learn to spell my real name collect correctly until I was in first grade. Yep, I was taught incorrectly during kindergarten. Why? Because my mother had no idea how to spell it and got it wrong. The correct spelling was noticed on my birth certificate when being registered in a new school so I had to relearn it. She never did learn to spell it and she had no idea how to spell or even say my last name either after I got married. It's an unusual first name here in the US though it is better known male name in the UK. I am of course female. She got mixed that one mixed up sometimes too. When I was growing up mum and dad taught me to spell my name with the circumflex over the I. The second flex is actually meant to be over the A and that was there was quite a few years before we realised that we'd got it in the wrong place but I remember I was at a summer camp once and we had to have name badges on and because I put the circumflex over the circumflex is the the, the little hat that goes over my A just in case you didn't realise so I'd put that over the I because that's where I thought it was supposed to go. <laughs> I got called Stan! <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't the most attractive child in the world, but I don't think I look like a boy. But uh, yeah, I got called Stan. So whenever people ask me what different types of pronunciations I've had of my name, it's always like, oh, Sean, Cyan, you know, all those kind of ones. And I'm like, Stan is my favorite though. So yeah, I can, uh, Reggie, Reggie 72. Yes. <laughs> HE says, I constantly spell my name badly. When I'm typing, it always comes out as here instead of heather <laughs> oh i i i i spell mine s a i n a lot because i'm typing fast or a lot of the times i also get s o a n because the i and the o are next to each other and i'm touch typing and i'm not very good at it so uh yeah 
I, I know that I know that <laughs> Esther Kramer says for turning the bag you can leave part of the bottom open turn the bag pull the bottom through the zipper pouch stitch the bottom turn the bag right sides together then stitch the zipper pouch closed hope it makes sense yes it does Esther Erica taught me this as well uh, that you could leave like a side seam or a bottom seam open and then turn it through that and then turn it uh, then, then use the bottom the open zipper pouch to close that up and then finish the bag I have done it a couple of times I don't actually find it any easier but I'm probably not leaving a big enough gap in the bottom seam so I might need to try that again but yes I did know that but thank you very much and it's a very good tip. Andy G says sew alongs are fantastic especially for me as a beginner I've learnt so much already from your NCW videos can't wait for the new year ones p.s I've learnt that gin and sewing is not a good combination. <laughs> Yes, I can imagine that. <laughs> Rachel says, thank you, Sean, for offering me first dibs at the Goldhawk Road shopping date in January. 18th would work well for me, but if that doesn't work for you, don't worry, we can rearrange. I'm sorry, I can't do the 11th as I'm working. 18th works really well for me. Eileen, hopefully you can make it on the 18th as well, and we will celebrate your birthday that day. Uh, so you have a long, a whole, a whole week of birthday to look forward to. The Goldhawk Road meetup is going to be on the 18th of January. Alison has made a comment about the fabric. Alison, you need to email me if you want to do, uh, if you want me to go shopping for you, and 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 vice versa. And because there is actually some fabric I really like in Spotlight. Alison also commented, "Do you remember the House of Elliot? The costumes were just beautiful. I do remember it. I watched it first time round. Mum and I, we, I mean, we all sat down and watched it. It was wonderful. I think my favourite one was when they." had something had gone wrong with a budget on something and they were making uh, costumes for a stage show and the budget for that was tiny and they had all this beautiful floaty fabric that had gone wrong for the first thing so they used it for the stage show and it was it was stunning but yeah I just I love that program so so much I haven't watched it in ages actually because I haven't seen reruns of it but then I don't really own a tv so I loved House of Elliot I thought it was awesome. Norma's just said that she messaged me really emojis which is what I sort of told you about earlier and then she's also really enjoys Bernadette Banner's channel on historical ma dressmaking she is also very good or she is very good also sorry I'm <laughs> rearranging your words there yeah no I love Bernadette Banner I really enjoy watching her channel I, I enjoy watching Angela Clayton as well Morgan Donna the American du Duchess girls their sewing is hard sewing is hashtag hard is uh, is hilarious <laughs> I really enjoy that so yeah there's quite a few that I watch but if there's any other videos um the closet historian Rachel Makesy if you like the closet historian you probably like Rachel Makesy as well she is learning to sew and she does but make it vintage so she does like princess leia but make it vintage and it's really interesting actually she has she's she's very naturally talented at the things that she does very creative obviously but so it's it's quite interesting and i just sort of sit, want to sit there and i'm like no don't do it like that do it like this and like like reach in and help her and kind of things but yeah i i find her really fascinating as well so leave in the comments down below if you've got any other uh, channels that to recommend that you think I might like because I am always looking for new ones. I rarely watch TV anymore. I generally just watch YouTube videos. Susan says, always love your vlogs. Thanks for entertaining and inspiring us heart. Thank you, Susan. Teresa Smith says, I did give the nurse my wrong birth date when being admitted for a shoulder replacement earlier this year. Thank goodness hubby was with me to make sure all info was correct. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Fiona, your mum and dad are epic. Yes. Yes, they are. Are they in the market for adopting an extra daughter? On a more serious note, I lost my brother to cancer a few weeks ago. Your videos have been very welcome distraction. Thank you, Sean. Fiona, I, I, I can't imagine what you're going through. I have never experienced a loss like that, and I, my heart goes out to you. So massive, massive hugs, and I'm glad that my silly little corner of the internet is helpful, and it's going to be here for a long time to come. So. Thank you. Claire says, I told someone off for spelling my name wrong and spelt, spelt it to them wrong. That was kind of embarrassing. I enjoy vlogs better than... I think, I think that's meant to be, I enjoy vlogs better than blogs as I can still make things whilst watching. There is also that. That's a very good point. You, you have to read a blog post, don't you? Chia Alvarado says, haha, I love your parents. It was designed for me as the best comeback ever. Yes. 
Mum is awesome. <laughs> Stephanie says, I love your mum and dad. They always make me smile. I prefer vlog vlogs over written posts, mostly because life is busy right now and I love being able to multitask. So listening and crafting is better. Agreed. Jennifer T says, I've actually and legitimately forgotten my name before. Also, I adore your parents' oven. The jealousy is real. That, yeah, I love the Aga. I love the fact that the Aga's warm as well. It's so nice being in the kitchen at the moment. Paula says, ha 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 heart. Love this kind of interaction and chat about doing something stupid. I hemmed my dress wrong side out twice today. I just left it on the sewing table waiting for an apology from it. Not very kind thing to, to do to me. Can't wait for Vlogmas. Oh, I, I've, I've sewn in linings the wrong way around and all sorts. So I feel your pain, Paula. I know what you mean. So yeah, I'm, I'm back up to about 20 minutes of, of waffle at you there, you guys there. So obviously I'm going to trim that down and it won't be as long, but I am going to leave it there. I, I didn't read all of the comments this time and there were a lot of um, lovely comments that I couldn't get to because as I say 20 minutes but I'm going to do this every now and again because it is really fun interacting with you guys like this and it is like having a conversation when you guys reply to my replies the next day I love it so I hope you have enjoyed day two of vlogmas and I will see you all tomorrow bye